Merdeka Special down the history lane. Merdeka simply means independence, freedom in every sense. Question is how we get here 57 years after we're first introduced to our meaning of the word Merdeka. Malaya was governed by the British Empire up until the Japanese invasion in 1941. Following the events of Hiroshima and Nagasaki, the Japanese surrendered on 15th August 1945. The British colonists returned and resumed control of Malaya. Malayan Union was then introduced by the British in 1946 but was strongly rejected by the Malays who instead were in favor to form the Federation of Malaya. United Malays National Organization was formed to pave the way for independence and preserve the rights of the Malayans. Tunku Abdurrahman, along with the support from various representatives, head for negotiation with the British in London in 1956. The negotiation was a success and Tunku Abdurrahman became the first Prime Minister of Malaya. On the eve of 30th August 1957, the Taran Merdeka was filled with jubilance as Malayans gathered and watched the exchange of Union Jack with Federation of Malaya flag. Nagaraku was also played for the first time ever that night. On 31st August 1957, more than 20,000 people gathered at Stadium Merdeka to witness the pivotal moment when Tunku proudly shouted, Merdeka! Echoed by the crowd seven times. And each year since, the Merdeka Day is celebrated on that day. 57 years later, we've seen how Malaysia evolved while on its way to achieving Vision 2020 with excellent achievements such as Kuala Lumpur emerging as one of the top 30 cities in the world. Yet, we must never forget the struggles and sacrifices made by those who significantly contributed in making Malaysia as it is today. Get to know more of Malaysia! Stay tuned for more insights on Malaysia 101.